Joining me today is Joe from CAD Spec, and we're going to be discussing feature cam on what, where it is in the market, why engineers should use it. So let's let's start with the fundamentals. You know, what is it? Feature cam is, as the name implies, a feature-based cam system. So essentially, it recognises bores, pockets, recesses, mm. external geometry, creates a feature from those, and then pretty much automatically produces the correct machining strategy, selects all the tools and outputs the, the tool path for you. Mm. Basically. So again, feature cam. So it's feature based cam basically, making it easier for engineers to pick up possibly somebody, yes. with, you know, less time served maybe? Yes, absolutely. So I think a, a great opportunity for feature cam is companies that may be suffering a little bit from the skills gap. So where mm the older generation of the, the skilled type are leaving us for greener pastures and uh, the lower or newer uh, staff are less experienced. This is where feature cam comes in. Mm -hmm. The older ones can kind of configure mm -hmm. it and program it with their knowledge, their skills, and then someone with lesser um, uh, sort of experience in this field can then use mm -hmm. it but at their level. Sure. So what is a typical feature cam user? How does that business look? Is it a one man band? Is it a larger company somewhere in the middle? I, I think it's pretty scalable actually. I think like you say, from the, the smaller sort of more homegrown sort of businesses right up to um, medium enterprises or slightly mm -hmm. higher can benefit from using feature cam, yes. Um, and what are the key benefits? We talked about the automation, but maybe we can go over that again and say highlight some of the key benefits of using it and how it can save a manufacturer money essentially. Yes, um, essentially having this feature-based kind of strategy behind it, it, it's very much kind of click and recognize on the actual model itself. Um, there's a very simple interface that you just say yes or no to in many regards. Um, and then it goes away, mm -hmm. it selects all the tools for you, all the speeds and feeds. It actually creates all the right step overs, cut, depths of cuts and other types of machining information that you would normally put in manually in a process based cam system. Um, this does it all for you. So, and we're talking about, you know, does it does it pull from the cloud as well? It does. So, uh, a lot of information uh, like your post processors or machine files can be pulled from uh, posts in the cloud, and it also can bring down a lot of other information as well. And because it, it, it's so simple to use, it, would this be the start of the CAM journey, and people may progress to things like power mill after, or, or do many users start with feature CAM? and they're still there, they're happy with it? Uh, that's a good question, actually. I, I think that really depends on how the company evolves and grows. Um, it may well start off with feature cam because of the subscription-based model. If they decide later that they wish to jump to uh, power mill, then that's an option that they can do, yeah. And supplying the software, that's only one element. CAD spec, what else do you offer other than we the offer sales? Full solution, really. So everything from the software, technical support, the training, and also uh, the much wider portfolio mm. of Autodesk applications and products. And on the rare occurrence that somebody needs a post, there's not one in the cloud, for argument's sake, is that something you can help with? Yes, absolutely. So if you have a particular aspect of your machine tool that the generic post is not really fulfilling, then we can mm -hmm. alter those for you, yes. Yeah, so if we're interested in feature-based machining, feature, you know, CAM, yep. why not get in touch with CAD Spec and they can teach you a little more about feature CAM and all the other Autodesk products?